The first arch is the pre-soak using low pressure to apply hot detergent using rainwater. Each of the three arches has two pipe manifolds, one for the front and sides and one for the rear of the vehicle. The second arch is the same, only in this arch we're applying the reclaimed soapy water at 400 PSI and 100 gallons per minute. The third arch is the final rinse, which is a mix of RO water, or reverse osmosis water, and the rain water. The rinse is applied at 300 PSI and 35 gallons per minute. The rainwater is captured from the drains that used to go to the storm sewer and is directed to the two 6,000 gallon tanks for storage. This is the pump that pulls the rainwater from the storage tanks. The water is chlorinated and then run through a carbon filter to remove the chlorine. After the water is treated, it enters the RO unit. RO is reverse osmosis. The water is stored in the adjacent tank. It is then used for a spot-free rinse, along with the rainwater and the final rinse arch of the wash. This reclaim unit is made of all stainless steel and is guaranteed for five years and needs no attendant because it is self-cleaning. It will clean the reclaimed water down to the size of a white blood cell. It is recirculated in the three outside tanks 24 hours per day, seven days a week. This pump sends the reclaimed water to the second arch at 400 PSI and 100 GPM. The water heater is a commercial hot water heater using only rainwater. The two pressure washers will supply hot rainwater and soap to both sides of the wash bay and is controlled by the remotes at each wash station. The large upright pump is the final rinse pump using rainwater to rinse the vehicles. The small pump applies hot detergent through the first arch for the pre-soak. This entire wash uses only rainwater at all three stages. All water used is called and recycled and used in the second arch. No city water is used unless there's no rainwater available. All sludge that is generated from recycling and filtering is pumped back into the drain sump in the wash bay. Once per year, the sludge buildup in the sump is pumped out and the process starts all over again. The entire wash cycle takes 60 to 90 seconds.